What is up, boys and girls? It is your boy, Thorgs here. And last episode that I brought to you, uh, we went ahead and defeated Hooktail. And uh, we got our Crystal Star, so that is what is up. And now, we're gonna... Uh, I believe we go back to the Thousand Year Door and take the uh, Crystal Star there. Isn't like every uh, 10 points that I get a... Uh, an item? Nah, it's not. But, um, we're gonna head back to wherever we need to go. So, um, we already saved Koops. Talked to, uh, Koopy Koo. Oh, uh, yeah. Mario, are you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? Yeah, I gotta, uh, take care of myself. If you know what I mean. Alright. Is that a mailbox SP? Cool. With the light? Hey. Who's that mail from? My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these Crystal Stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you already have the map, so please be very careful. And please don't worry about me, Princess Peach. Wow, wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? The Princess Peach? Uh, that probably meant to say the. Uh, so that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. Alright. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, venture our way back, shall we? Um, a big thing that um, somebody has pointed out to me is I have still yet to show star power, AKA you, Scott. So uh, we, once we get into a fight that I know we'll have to use the star power, we'll, we'll definitely use it. So, that way, you can hop off my back. Alright. I don't know why I thought I could try to make that jump before it moved, but I had the strangest feeling it was gonna move the second I jumped. Bloop. Bloopers pooper, guys. Bloopers pooper. I'm pre- yes, we have to go to Thousand Year Door. So that way, we can uh, see the next location. That's right. So we'll come a this way. Actually, no, that is not where we go. I am horrible. But now, we don't have to use that little bit. We can use our newly found curse, as that uh, treasure chest monster thing calls it. And boom, look at that too. We don't even have to do anything. Okay, not this way, we gotta go down the pipe. All right. This is where we still need to, um, you know what? I'll show star power right here. Um, it'd be kind of pointless too, with it being the wand. But let's go ahead. Earth Trimmer. I'm gonna show you guys Earth Trimmer because this one actually is a lot better than Sweet Treat. And it goes until you uh, mess up. Heck yeah. So did total of six but hey and our star power is drained um i once i get the very first wheel uh if you want to call it that that first little uh bit i can then show you guys uh what sweet treat is all right and just enough for um Green belly here to head a bonk. Okay. 
so I know last episode I talked about uh, Sean and I possibly bringing back head to head. I spoke with him actually just before recording uh, this video right here, and uh, he said that he would like to eventually. So that probably means never. <laughs> All right, so here we are, Thousand Year Door. I'm gonna jump right here. All right, this was where we were supposed to get. It. Okay, Mario, you ready? Hold that crystal star up. Boom! Oh man, here we are. We just uh, returned with the Kokiri Emerald, and uh, where we're going? <laughs> Be the. Uh, the forest medallion is what we have. I think that's what it's called. It's been a while since I played Ocarina of Time. Pretty sure it's called the the forest medallion. Cause you have like the shadow medallion, the light medallion, um, that kind of stuff. So I remember the very first time that I played Thousand Year Door. Um, this was when um, Sean had let me borrowed it. Um, the location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. This place that we're coming up to now is a place that I really, um, really didn't care for. Um, I think I got stuck there at that spot, and then I was like, you know what, Sean? Here's your game back, and uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. 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 I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great pun. Come on. Where's the next crystal star, Professor? It's in the Bogley Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Bogley Woods? Okay. About those woods, I, I think. Uh, some old, some odd creatures live there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the Crystal Stars. Oh, and the worst part? She says she, that she doesn't even know where she is. Uh oh if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could be the treasure, or could the treasure be? Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can really rely on are the crystal stars in the map. Then we'll head for Bobby Woods to find the next crystal star. Let's do it. Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Alright, old man. So, hey, what is up? It is our lovely brother, Luigi. It is a co coinky dink. Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. Uh, I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. Hmm. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. No, we're not gonna uh, waste our time with that. Um. If you guys do want to listen to Luigi's story, once that we beat the game, we can go back to him. We got the, uh, your contact lenses in, please drop by our shop. Awesome. I knew it had to have been after we, uh, finished up with that. What can I do for you? Oh no, it's right here. All right, we got our contact lens. But um, once we beat the game and everything, we can come back, find Luigi, and then that way we get um, his entire story. Uh, did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? Here you go. A contact lens? Oh, sweet relief, thank you. If 
Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me tell you, I know that feeling. I remember the first time uh, I got contacts after a while not having them. Man, everything looks like it's HD. But that's because I'm blind as shit. <laughs> so, we'll come in here. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stompalot? Zesty. That's what her name was. Zesty. And get it, you know, chef. Want me to whip something up for you right now? What ingredients would you like for me to cook? So, what we can do is uh, we give her item. She'll like cook around and stuff, and boom. So, this is where you can come, take some items, get some better uh, stuff before you know you go fight a uh, a boss. So you keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this, but go ahead and take it, Stumpy. Shroom fry replenishes six HP and two FP. So now we basically got a boost of one HP and two FP. And we're able to come uh, this away now. So this is the other part of town. Um, I really didn't care for this side. Look at this big old bomb bomb. Dum da da dum da do. All right. The new numbers every day. This lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Tell me more. All right. You pick numbers. They might win each day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board and see if your numbers come in. If your number matches the draws or the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check your check the board every day, your number is sure to eventually come. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. So go ahead, buy a number only 10 coins for new customers. Would you like to buy one? Sure, why not? I'm more lucky in uh, video games than I am uh, in real life. So, we don't need to come this way yet. I don't even know why. Um, we gotta go back down into the pipe because we got to uh, get to that pipe and go down and find the Boggly Woods, shall we? What up, Luigi? So, I think I know where exactly we need to go. Well, if I can squeeze up into there. Okay. We come down this way, I think. All right. Because now, can Coops? I don't think Coops can. No. Okay. Hmm. So going down there takes us to this way. Oh, this is a timed thing. Actually, no. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I can do this just yet. I'm actually pretty sure that I have to have another companion in later in the game for that. Boggly Woods, Boggly Woods. Um, isn't there another one that we can go to here? This. This is probably it, boys. Boys and girls. So, come right there. You there. I'm really underground, cues can be. You're a fortune teller. I'll give it a try. No. Ignore that. Man, I'm... It's been a little bit, guys. Try I'm trying to remember. Ah. 
I don't want to fight you. So let's go ahead. Boom. Because we gotta build that star power up so I can show you guys Sweet Treat. Alright. It's not down that way. Not down that way. Hmm. And then inside here is another person. Mer Lovely. Shall I see something for you? Oh, I did not mean to hit that one. All right. Show me what I see. Uh, you find the place where the small creature appears. You follow it inside by turning sideways. Then the way opens. Hmm. Okay, I've been everywhere here. Now... It's not over there on that side. It's not back there. I think I do have to go to this other other side of town. Other side of town. And then I... Uh, let's come out this way. Glitzville. No. I do not need to go to Glitzville. What about you? Ah, I don't want to talk to you. You there! For Poshley Heights. No. Ah, oh, man. This was one of the reasons why I hated coming to this place, too. Um. Damn. Bring to the parlor. This place run by Don Pianta. You there. Hmm, there is you there. What's in here? West side goods, what can I do? Ten points, prize is a mushroom. Oh man. How, how, how? Let me. Let me go talk to Professor Frankly real quick. Because. I, for the life of me, I, I can't remember. Hello. Beneath town, I suggest you look for it. I was underneath town though. to be this way. In 
Can you come this way? This leads us to the Thousand Year Door. No, I... Okay. I'm dumb. I'm so sorry, guys. Here it is. Come back here. Eek! Do don't eat me! Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me. And you're not bullies? Guess again, nerd. For real? Phew. Boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. Um, aren't you one of the creatures from Boggly Woods? Why are you down here? What? what? Why do you know? Wait, why do you know about me? No, you, you must be. You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots What the uh, heck are those? It sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. Hey, Ocarina of Time, the Deku Tree. So, I've come all along the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the great tree. If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the crystal star. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some crystal star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about any crystals or stars. Say, could you guys help us out? Maybe chest them off? If you do, we'll give you, uh, what was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking. You'll do it. Um, I guess we should. I feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Plus, we did. Uh, we do need to get those crystal stars before those x knots do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. So we're gonna be like, okay. Oh, why? Why? Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. Aha! And well, boom, there we are. Here's a secret entrance. What up, Punyo? You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry. All right, let's, there we go. It's like, why won't it let me in? And we are now starting chapter dos. Bing. The Great Bogley Tree. Oh yeah. I really hated this place, guys. I'm not looking forward to being here, actually. So, the Bogley Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. Uh, what are we running to next? Um, okay, just a bit further and we should be able to see the gray tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there for sure. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. So, we are now in a new area. Ah, no. We need to switch to Goombella. So that way we can uh, tattle on some of these creatures we're gonna uh, come up against. Man, I really don't want to be here. Mwee-hee-hee-hee! -hee -hee. Time to go to work, lovelies! Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm-hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivian, 
What's that you're fawning over there? Oh, you mean this? I found it near the tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely. I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivian, for shame. Picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting, greedy. But enough about that, Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. Wee hee hee hee. He, what? I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I... Hmm? Gah, gah. <laughs> oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow. This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I've never had this sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that your only rationale your type uh, understands is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldam. Oh, you horrid. So we're just gonna roll by him. They're not gonna pay any kind of attention to me. Ah! No! Oh! So, we get to deal with these lovely things. So, let's go ahead and swap. And first, I want to tattle on the cleft. That's a cleft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max HP is two. So, um, the reason why I wanted to do that is because I don't have a pow block, do I? Well then! I was gonna use the pow to, uh... hurt him, but I guess not. Damn it. Poor Grimbella. Okay... We're gonna go ahead and tattle the Pale Prana. Alright. Max HP is 4. Oh yeah. There goes the Piranha. Okay, there we go. So now... You... Nope. Mushroom on Gumbella. Okay. And now we will power smash to ensure this lovely little guy goes down. Alright. Building up that star power. Two more star points until we level up. Um, what are we looking at? We upgraded our Did I get a badge last match too? Yes. I uh, increase attack power by five when your partner is in peril. Yeah, we'll do that. Should we do badges, or...? Hmm. Flower power is what I might do. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know why I about jumped on him. Oh, that would have been a bad day. Sad thing is this hammer attack isn't gonna do shit. Yeah. Hmm. that awesome all right no bella fire flower okay here we go and we got that level up and uh this time we are most definitely doing 
flower power. Oh yeah. Everything gets restored. I will be able to show you guys Sweet Treat next. Haha! -ha. I knew I saw something in the distance. Ha! You ain't gonna get me, sucker. Oh lord, okay. So what I'm gonna do here is first, I'm gonna do Sweet Treat. Uh, repeatedly tilt uh, to the left to shoot stars. So basically, you want to hit everything but the green mushrooms. And then of course, um, whatever you hit is uh, what you're able to bring back. So if we were down five health, if we were down six uh, flower power, that's what we would have been able to get back. It's a way to heal and everything, but if you can typically time um, damage attacks and everything like that, um, it's, it's not really needed, especially once you get higher at a level um, where um, you have enough health to uh, essentially avoid... Um, or not avoid, take more of like the one or two damage hits, basically. Oh man. What sucks here? Huh. I can't head bonk because the teeth acts just like um, a spiked Goomba will. I, I really... Screw it. Okay. Probably gonna regret using that fire flower, but... Hey. Honestly... What I normally did was I would skip fighting all of those guys. I hated them with a passion. So here... There, can you see it? That big tree? Oh, hey, it's all the way up over there. That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course. It's not just a lot of us in that tree. Lots of jabbies and piters, too. Uh, well, anyway, Mario, follow me. So, as you can see, went up that way. And we got another end coupon. What's this way? Nope, bye-bye. There's something I can do up that way. Should I do it now or later? I think that's something I do when I get back. So here we are, guys. The uh, the great tree. The great Deku tree. Alright. So we'll come this way. Let's talk to Puny. Uh, or Punio. What's going on? Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Oh, quit being melodramatic. Although it doesn't, or it does look thick, what are we gonna do now? Uh, um, mm, um, mm, mm, mm. got it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna follow you. Oh, well, geez. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. Uh, we can get it through, or get through there. I'm completely sure of it. Um, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be too easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? How are we supposed to find an entrance, or a secret entrance? It's a secret for a reason, you know? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. 
Um, oh, got it. Flurry. Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Ah, that's what it was, guys. That's what it was. Boom. Ah, these woods are most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes. All right. This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace. This negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my. It's happening even as I speak. Already, I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Well, all right. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No, it's gone, gone, I tell you. My, my... Necklace. Hmm. Do we get the necklace first and then Flurry? Okay, we'll head straight in this direction. We'll see Flurry's place in no time. Okay, we gotta go this way first, and then I think Flurry comes along with us to go find uh, whoever took her. Oh man, I hate these cloud things too. I know what I'm gonna do. Tattle the dark puff. And then we're just gonna run. Oh, we almost did, did not make it. This way. Boom. Leave me be. No, no, no. Get. Freaking go. Oh my lord. So, let's switch to uh, Koops real quick. Ah! Get that star sp or that shine sprite. My bad. Eh, I guess we can keep him out. Nope. That's what I need to do. There we go. Watch out! Quake Hammer. So let's go to badges real quick. Quake Hammer's two. Um. Let's get rid of Power Smash and the Mega Rush P and add the Quake Hammer. Let's go ahead. Haha, <laughs> miss me. Sucker. Look, there, in the distance. That's what I was telling you about Flurry's place. Let's go ahead. Heal. Bam. Sneak by that away. Boom, a Volt Shroom. Hmm. Alright. 
Wait, is there something right there? Oh yeah, I'm finding everything. And here we are in the distance, and we're gonna come roll up. We just gonna walk into her place, and we own it. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she's in here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. We're gonna go ahead and save right here. Um, and I'm also gonna call it a episode here. Um, if you guys like the content, please like, comment, subscribe um, to my videos and everything like that. Also to my YouTube, Twitch. Um, I also have Facebook, Twitter, and Discord that you guys uh, are able to join. I have links down to the description of those, so that way you can go follow those. Um, there, I'll be posting when I'm uploading videos, and uh, you guys can just keep up with my daily activities, whatever I post. So, anyways, it is your boy Thorns signing out. Deuces.